All right, so run back time. Let's see if Dam Dai can actually take some uh, what he learned from that loss. You know, Dam Dai is definitely one of those types of players. He'll be able to synthesize that information, I think, pretty quickly. But, I mean, we're talking about Mago right here. He's one of the most knowledgeable players in Street Fighter 4 since the beginning. Nice yep. block there from, Dam from Dam Dai, though. Yeah, Mago has all the momentum right now. Good pressure. And see that? He punished with a dash and then the attack. That's how negative some of those things crazy is. crazy right now. I am wild enough <laughs> for that. So that's, like you said, that's the knowledge right there. He knew that, that how punishable that was. Yes. Good lord. All right. Great start for Mago. Looking very strong here. All right. Damn Dai using that EX dive to get in. What kind of pressure? Nice bait. Goes for the air throw. I like that little setup that he had. Mago is just one step ahead. All right. Gets the jungle off of that. Nice wake up from Mago. Mago trying to reverse that pressure. Teleports out of the corner, keeps him in there. Smart stuff. One mix up away. Oh, didn't have enough meter to FADC that Psycho Sting. But Mago has enough, and he's going to be able to land the Ultra off of that FADC. And he's going to take that first game. He just put him in a really tough situation. I think Zamdai played that, that match, that round, pretty well. But uh, Mago's pressure was pretty pretty strong. That was what uh, brought him, got him the win when they fought earlier. And it's just a tough, a tough go of things for DiCaprio to be able to stop that kind of thing when she gets put in this situation. Mago actually going for the punish on that knew he was in range. That a light rapid daggers isn't actually safe, but it's just very hard to punish. So you have to be frame perfect to punish it. And a lot of times the distance just doesn't allow you. And here comes Mago. Nice, using that EX dive once again to try to get the momentum back on his side. Damn, that is just, uh, put a huge change in his game plan. He's trying to just ugly it up with these jump back roundhouse to <laughs> take as much damage as he can. Here we go. Oh, nice. Goes for the command throw. Mago. He knew just what mix out to apply in that situation. And he's been mixing it up against every opponent. But he played damn bad before. Gave him a little bit of respect to block on that frame. Let's keep him up. All right, so now Mago at match point. Let's see if Jam Dai can figure something out or he will be going home. He's looking like a, almost like Cammy. <laughs> really not doing, not doing a lot of the DiCaprio yeah. things because it, he feels like Mago's gonna put a stop to them. Yeah, and you can see it's working out for him. This is a bit more defensive game. Mm -hmm. He has a sizable life lead here, but Mago now has him kind of in the corner, and with two bars, he can do a lot of damage right away. Oh, here we go. He's gonna save the meter. No FADCs yet, and a throw. Stays in front. Just like that, ties up the light. Oh, punish, that could have did it. Damn, that goes again with the sting. I like how Mago walked forward to block it, to get rid of it earlier. That was so smart. Didn't give Damn Dai an opportunity to set anything up. Then Mago lands the combo. And Damn Dai has been eliminated. Mago will qualify out of losers. That was that whole set. Didn't give Damn Dai a chance to set anything up. We saw him in the last round just kind of try to dumb things down, take air-to-air uh, -air damage, very low risk. Didn't work out for him. Yep. Well, unfortunately, like I said, Damn Dai is out, but fortunately for Mago, he continues forward. <laughs> oh. All right. Um. Unfortunate break there for Damn Dai, but we'll see more Mago coming up in the rest of this tournament. That's right. But once again, I would like to have a chance to give a shout-out to Mad Cats. Of course, they also just announced